This video is sponsored by VIPSCDKey.com. VIPSCDKey is a marketplace website where you can purchase game keys and software keys with no hassle. VIP SD key offers a legit Windows 10 Pro key for only $21. But to make it more awesome, they will be giving another 20% discount. Just type our coupon code XTNC to get it for only $15. If you're in the Philippines, purchasing is very easy. You can use PayPal, Paymaya, or GCash. Visit VIPSCDKey.com now. I'll put the link in the video description below. It's tech news. So what's up guys? Action here and nagbabalik tayo for updates about sa mga latest ngayon sa PC hardware. May exciting announcements regarding sa next generation NVIDIA graphics cards this September. Pumasok si HyperX sa monitor market. Gigabyte launching the very first PCIe 5.0 SSD. DDR4 support for the upcoming C790 motherboards. New memory kits ni G-Skill at mga bagong products ni ASUS. Magmumura ang mga RTX 30 series dial dito sa balita na to. So, if hype na kayo sa upcoming RTX 40 series, na confirm na ni Jensen Wang, President and CEO ng NVIDIA na i-reveal na nila finally ang next generation graphics card sa GTC this September 19 to 21. And ang sabi ni Tito Jensen, <laughs> nakikita ito, Ampere is the most popular GPU we've ever created. It is the top 15 most popular gaming GPU on Steam and it remains the best GPUs in the world and it will be very successful for some time. However, we do have exciting new next generation coming and it's going to be layered on top of that. According yan kay Tito Jensen. Yeah. So far, hindi pa sure kung anong mga specific graphics card ang i-announce sa event. Pero according sa mga reports, it looks like mga high-end cards sa RTX 40 series ang makikita natin during the event. Mukhang inline naman ang expectations natin dahil nagkaroon na ng recent rumors regarding sa rollout ng RTX 40 series this coming October. Whatever the case, we will be keeping you guys posted. MSI C790 leak confirms DDR4 support. Oy, magandang balita to. Iniwan na ni AMD ang DDR4 sa AM4 platform. Pero mukhang wala pa ding balak bitawan to ni Intel. According sa bagong leak ng C790 motherboards ni MSI, there will be Intel motherboards that will support DDR4 memory. Based on leak, there will be C790 motherboards with DDR4 memory that can support up to 5333 megatrans per speed. This is good news para sa mga system builders and gamers na nag-iisip mag-upgrade ng bagong Intel motherboard dahil less na din sa gastos. This is also aligned with our previous report regarding sa leak ng Core i9-13900K Raptor Lake about sa DDR4 compatibility. According sa leak ng roadmap ni Intel by WNXOD sa Twitter, makikita natin ang announcement ng Raptor Lake Core i9-13900K, Core i7-13700K at Core i5-13600K this September 28. ASUS Ryuo or Ryuo 3. Teka lang, parang naglapas pa sila ng second gen. So the ROG Ryuo is about to make its return. Recently teased the upcoming Ryuo will feature a redesign and improved performance. So far, ito ang nireveal nila na changes na features and specs. It has a square cold plate that increase the cooling area by 32%. Mas malaki ang tubing with a thicker diameter from 5mm to 7mm. It features a three-phase motor for increased flow rate and lower impedance. 42% na mas malaki ang liquid capacity nito. Lahat yan para sa improved cooling performance. And of course, kasama din ang ROG exclusive ARGB fan that looks and performs great. May dalawang variants for 240mm and 360mm radiators. Pero walang 120mm para sa mga compact builds. Hintay lang muna tayo ng more updates but we'll be sure to keep our ROG fans here posted pagdating dito. Oy, may bagong case si ASUS. So if case naman ang hanap nyo from ASUS to complete your all ASUS build, check out nyo tong GT502. It's a dual chamber case that boasts 25 detachable parts, panoramic tempered glass, and space up to 13 fans para ma-unlock ang potential when it comes to cooling. The GT502 offers plenty of customization options para sa mga gusto mag-customize ng case nila. Kung may design ka na gusto mo i-apply sa case, Madali lang ang magtanggal ng parts para magawa mo mga designs mo. The GT502 will arrive in two variants. The first one is the Tough Gaming GT502 Plus na meron ng 4 pre-installed ARGB fans at saka ARGB hub. Pangalawa naman ay ang Tough Gaming GT502 para sa mga users who prefer na mag-install ng sarili nilang cooling system. Meron tong rear chamber na may 90mm space for cable management. Maayos to kung OC kayo sa cable management nyo para mas malinis na build. 
Dito din kayo mag install ng power supply nyo and meron ding itong tatlong storage drives mounts for even a 360mm radiator. It can support up to ATX motherboard and an ATX PSU. Tool free na din ang side panel para mas madali ang access when it comes to building or magpalit ng components. For graphics card naman, it has room for 400mm long GPUs. Included na rin ang graphics card holder para mas mabibigat na GPUs. It also comes with a vertical mounting bracket kung gusto mo i-showcase ang GPU mo. Although, take note, hindi kasama ang riser cable sa package. Wala pa tayong official release date or pricing, pero again, we'll be on the lookout once mag-announce si ASOS or mag-drop na ito sa mga local stores natin. Ang kakasurprise din itong announcement ni HyperX nung nirebuild nila ang kanilang gaming monitors to complete your HyperX setup. Meron tayong dalawang variants, namely the Armada 25 and the Armada 27. For the Armada 25, it features a 24.5-inch 1080p IPS panel with 240 refresh rate and 1 millisecond response time. For the Armada 27, you'll get a 27-inch display with Quad HD resolution, display is there for 100, 165Hz refresh rate, and 1 millisecond response time na din. Both monitors are G-Sync compatible, but what sets them apart sa ibang gaming monitors ay ang included na ergonomic arm that can move freely. So you can customize your setup sa kung anong trip mo. For the price, the Armada 25 costs $450 and the Armada 27 nasa $500 na. You can also buy the gaming arm for $109 and add-on mount for $80. While sobrang tulin pa din ng mga PCI 4.0 NVMe SSDs, it doesn't stop companies like Gigabyte from making something faster. Kung tingin nyo kulang pa din sa inyo ang 7,000 megabytes per second read speed, check out nyo yung Aorus Gen 5 10,000 SSD that boasts 10 gigabytes per second read speed. Basically, itong bagong Aorus SSD features the latest Fison PS5 026-826A channel controller. Meron siyang 200 layer stack structure, maximum 2400 mega transfer speed, bandwidth 3D TLC NAND flash, and LP DDR4 cache. Meron din pinakitang crystal disk mark test si Gigabyte showing the SSD to perform over 12 gigabyte per second read and 10 gigabyte per second write speeds. The Aorus Gen 5 10,000 SSD will be available in 1 terabyte to 4 terabyte capacities. Although we're not sure yet kung magkano at kailan sila darating dito sa atin. And of course, kailangan meron din kayong PCIe 5.0 motherboard to take advantage of that speed. Sa recent announcement ni AMD for the new Ryzen 7000 series, maghahanda na din kayo ng upgrade for new DDR5 memory kits dahil hindi compatible ang DDR4 sa mga bagong motherboards for that CPU. For that, nag-announce si G-Skill ng dalawang bagong DDR5 memory series, the Trident Z5 Neo and the Flare X5 series. Meron tayong RGB and non-RGB variants para sa Trident C5 series. Both are built for overclocking sa bagong platform ni AMD. And both also features the iconic powder-coated matte black heat spreader design and premium black brush aluminum inset. The Flare X5 naman, on the other hand, comes in a matte black finish. It also built with hand screen IC chips, tested for quality and performance. Perfect din ito for compact ITX builds dahil sa low profile height nito. Based sa website ni G-Skill, these are DDR5 5600 and DDR5 5800 kits and will come in at dalawang 16GB or dalawang 32GB kits. There will also be available this September pero no word yet as to how much ang official SRP nila. Very excited guys! <laughs> Napapalakpak ba? Very excited sa mga upcoming uh, RTX 40 series. This September sana in-announce na nila so abang-abang nilang yung mga sobrang bagsak presyo ng RTX 30 series. Sana makahanap kayo ng magandang deal. So anyway guys, this has been x -Gen. So see you again for more tech news.